On the sidelines of Xi Jinping's visit to Putin in Moscow, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stated that China's intentions are to provide a diplomatic shield for Russia. Since the war, Russia has been at a disadvantage and has moved closer to China. The Chinese leader announced that he has a plan to end the crisis with Ukraine, and Putin responded that he would study it carefully. The United States is watching the rapprochement of these two powers closely. Blinken commented that China is overlooking Russia's human rights abuses in Ukraine. The Secretary of State also said that Xi's visit comes three days after the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for the Russian president. This suggests that China feels no responsibility from Russia for atrocities committed in the war against Ukraine. Blinken stated that instead of condemning Russia, China is offering diplomatic support as a cover for it to continue committing human rights crimes. At a press conference this Monday, March 20th, Blinken announced a support package for Ukraine, consisting of military equipment and weaponry valued at $350 million. In an official statement, Blinken said that Russia could end the war today and that the United States would remain united with Ukraine for as long as necessary. During the press conference, the Secretary of State said he expects Xi to reiterate the proposals for a cessation of hostilities that the United States has also been supporting. He said the key is for Russia to withdraw troops from Ukrainian territory, and he added that the world should not be fooled by any tactical move by Russia, with the support of China or any other country, to freeze the war on its own terms. John Kirby, the White House National Security Council spokesman, commented in February that it is difficult to accept Beijing's plan for peace in its entirety, as there were no discussions between China and Ukraine. Apparently, this discussion will take place days after she visits Moscow, through a phone call from the Chinese leader to Ukrainian President Zelensky. According to Steve Rosenberg, analyst editor specializing in Russia for the BBC, the rapprochement between the two nations responds to Putin's pretension to build an anti-Western world. Russia needs China's economic and military support to counter international sanctions. However, with the pressure from the United States, China would not be providing the military aid Russia is asking for. Since the beginning of the war, China has stood by Russia, but with a more neutral position. After more than a year of the war, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin will discuss the 12-point plan to solve the acute crisis in the Ukraine, while the United States affirms that the war could end quickly.